Hello, Peach. Say hello to Peach, everyone. This is Peach, our pet crow. Hey guys, it's Dennis here. Today I'll get right into this video too, like I have been lately. Somebody left a comment on the channel the other day and where do I get a pet crow from? <laughs> where do I get a pet crow? Well, you get a nice uh, tall ladder and then find a tree and go up there. No, I'm just kidding. No, wait. <laughs> I'm just joking. Come on. Ha ha. You're supposed to laugh. Have some humor, right? I'm just kidding. Don't don't take that literally. Don't get no ladder. Stay away from trees and nests. Uh, I was just joking. So anyway, somebody asked. Actually, that's not the first one. I've had a few comments, you know, every now and then. Where do we get a pet crow from? Where do you get that crow from? How'd you get? I want one. Well, we would never endorse that or recommend that to get a pet crow. Like, that's not why we do these videos so that, you know, like I'm not uh, testing out a Ferrari or something. And then you're saying, where do we get one of those? How much are they? And can you get me a discount or something? That's not why why we do these videos. And I wouldn't recommend to get a crow for a pet. Here's another one of our crows. This is Maple. Maple's just hanging out up there because she's been molting and she can't fly very well. So I had to put her up here on this perch. And then we got some more birds over there. Two magpies. Then there's a crow way in the back there. His name is Jerry. These are all our pets. I know some of you don't like that term, like, they're not pets, but what would you call them, right? They give us joy, they relax us, and we love them. So some of you watching, you know the story about these birds, but there are people on the channel now and then that come and they don't understand, like, why do we have them in captivity? So, and then you get questions like, I'd like to have one for a pet, where do you get them? I don't see them in the store, you know? <laughs> but, some of you know the story that all these birds are rescued and Cherry was, was adopted. He was rescued by someone else. And, you know, he had a bad wing injury that they did damage control for surgery, but he'd never fly again. And, you know, he either had to be euthanized or be in someone's care. So we adopted him to, to join the Peach here. And I'll do a brief summary for the ones that don't know. We rescued Peach from the bottom of a tree. He was a little baby bird. And he wasn't a fledgling or nothing. Like, like fledglings are different. When they're out of the nest and they're maybe sitting on a fence post or on a tree, but they're not flying away because, you know, they're not confident yet. They're still growing and parents are nearby. That, that's, that's different. But he was at the bottom of a tree. There was pets all around, like cats and stuff, and like pet cats and kids running. It was by a busy road, and we were worried for his safety. So... We, we rescued him, we took him back to with us, and we thought, we'll let him get stronger and then we'll release him. Well, as it turned out, he became imprinted. I'll put some links below to videos there that you can check those out and then you'll, you can learn more about that, because I'm not going to talk all day about it, but that's a story about that. And, and, you know, they depend on us for food and shelter and care. And, you know, now that they're imprinted on us, like four of them, they, they could never be released and just wouldn't work. There's the pup there. There's the eight-year-old pup. Yeah, Cassie's eight years old. And Peach is eight years old too coming. We rescued him in uh, just at the beginning of June in 2015. It's 2023 now so he's gonna be eight too. He's not cold. He looks to be shaking there a bit but he's happy. It's a very beautiful day. I don't even have a hat on and that's one of the first times this winter if not the first time that I haven't been wearing a hat. So it's pretty nice. So about getting a crow for a pet, you know, I'm not the oldest guy on earth. I'm almost 60. I don't remember ever at a time that you could walk into a store or something and get a crow for a pet. I, we're in Canada, so I, I don't know. Do any of you guys know that you could? Or maybe from different countries. I, I don't know. Maybe there's some countries, I don't know, in the Middle East or something. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Maybe there was a time you could do that, and maybe you still can do that. I, I don't know. But I've never seen or heard of that here. And I remember minor birds, like, when I was a kid, we used to go to a pet store. My dad would take us there, and me and my brother would go, and there was a minor bird talking and everything. It was so cool. Saying all kinds of things. I even tape recorded them. That's years ago. 
I wonder if I still got that tape. But but anyways, you could get a minor bird. And, I mean, they were very expensive. I couldn't afford it. And my parents wouldn't buy that. Like, who knows? It could have been thousands of dollars at that time even. Like, 40, 50 years ago. <laughs> so, but then I don't even see those anymore, right? So, so, so I, I don't know if you, what you can find anymore. But I'm sure you couldn't find no no crow. So I just wanted to do a video like this just to answer that question with a video because maybe some people, I mean there's always people that wonder why we have them and then there's wonder, people wondering how they could get them. We would no way endorse to get a crow for a pet. Like if you come across a bird like that that needs help, find some wildlife or phone a vet, local veterinarian and ask for advice and take the bird in. Now if you do rescues and stuff, there's a lot of people out there that are bird rescues and they, uh, some of them release them if, if they can. If they can keep them away from people and stuff, there's people out there that do that. Then try to find someone like that. Or if you do that yourself, then that's different. Because it's a big resp responsibility to have little peach here. Like, he's, I don't really consider him a pet. He's my buddy. But f for the video purpose, we'll say pet. But, you know, we, we take, it's a big commitment. We're gonna keep him forever. Whoever goes first, if I go first, he's still going to be looked after by someone. So it's a big responsibility because some people can't even look after a cat or a goldfish. How many people bought a goldfish in your life? You came home after school or whatever and he was upside down, you know? <laughs> so it takes some research and, and care and commitment. And if you're not willing to do that, you shouldn't have any, any animal as a pet. There's the pet pup. <laughs> There's Peach. Hello, Peach. So guys, I'm going to end this video, and I'll say it, like I said before, I don't think you can find a crow as a pet. In most jurisdictions, it's not legal. You're not supposed to. But, you know, sometimes they need help, right? They need it. you got to interact with them, and you got to do what you got to do. Like I said, uh, find a wildlife or phone a vet and ask for some advice. Or if you're a rehabber or something, then you know what to do already. You don't got to listen to me babbling. But I wouldn't recommend to get them as a pet. It's a big commitment. And if you're going to do that, you better be in it for the long haul. Because they live a long time and they're going to depend on you. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope that answered your question. Like, where do I get a pet crow from? I don't know where you can. And, and I don't think you should even look for one, you know. Get yourself a maybe a, a nice cat or something. <laughs> if you can even look after him. So, thanks for watching. And give a nice big thumbs up here if you enjoyed this. And we'll see you in the next one, guys.